my first childhood memories of wildlife was rescuing bees that, that got very tired and were on the pavement and giving them little dishes of sugary water and flowers to make them feel comfortable and to make them covered. So my earliest memory is digging up worms in the garden with my brother. Um, we were taking them out of the flower beds and looking at all the weird and wonderful sizes, shapes and colours of the worms that we found. Discovering all the creepy crawlies behind the garden shed and watching the butterflies on the Buddleia. My first memory of wildlife uh, would be my mum would uh, rescue snails on the pavement and broken shells and they'd be brought into our flat and put in a um, con you know, little enclosure and given cuttlefish until they recovered and they'd be set free back into the wildlife. We were playing the hide and seek. Somebody, I was hiding um, near the bushes, and then he found me. Um, and then um, we found out that um, there, we saw a tail, and then we saw a face, and then we found out that it was a um, gecko. So my wildlife memory is I uh, went camping in King's Cliff with some friends and their dad when I was about thirteen. And we had uh, common lizards running around our tent, and it was just brilliant because I didn't know we had lizards in our country. I remember many years ago, I was about five or six, going with my father. I found an old barn on an estate, and uh, loads of snake skins that had been shed. I sort of collected them, put them over the a branch hanging down in the um, in the building. Very impressed with it. Hearing skylarks on the Yorkshire moors, watching them drop and scrambling to find the nest, never finding it. We were out on the farm one day and I think we, we, we'd actually stopped the tractor and we were sitting down, I think we were having a break. And uh, my father looked at the sky and said, Oh look, there's a little sparrow. Well, my dad was very precise in his English and I knew the minute he said sparrow, he didn't mean it because if he meant sparrow, he'd have said sparrow. <laughs> so I looked up and I looked at it and thought of my Enid Brighton's Nature Lover's book and said, that's not a sparrow, Daddy, that's a skylark. And that's, that was the first time I was aware of having seen a skylark. I'd seen them before but never been aware. On a summer night, sleeping with the window open so that I could hear the blackbird sing in the garden. Even now, a blackbird's song sends me back to those lovely evenings. Uh, it's parkland and there were some quite big trees there. And out of one of these trees, uh, a little bird had fallen, um, a baby wood pigeon. And uh, so one of the men picked this up and uh, showed it to me. And as a four, four year old child, I was uh, quite enthralled to see this little bird and of course uh, as children do I wanted it to keep it as a pet so uh, uh, anyway they decided that uh, I could do that so we took it home and put it in a box and uh, um, of course sadly uh, overnight it died so uh, uh, I was disappointed but it was a lesson learnt. My childhood memory is of the robin that lived in our garden when I was a child. So I grew up in Dorset, beautiful Dorset, where I always had nature on my doorstep. I could go, I could just walk out my front door and be within nature of the countryside within a couple of minutes, which I loved. So I was seeing all sorts of birds, deer, hare, rabbits, pheasants, everything all around me and that's why I'm sure that's what got me into doing what I do now. So once it was like um, midday and I was eating my lunch outside in the garden and I heard um, a noise in the bush and I went to see what it was and there was this tiny little um, hedgehog in my garden with a couple of its so one of my first memories of wildlife is in the village I was in, there were deer that came through and we'd all been told to respect them and you know be careful around them. Me and my sister went around this huge hedge that was part of a big old abandoned house that was there 
and we saw a doe and her fawn and they were really close to us so we kind of stopped and thought oh you know are they frightened um is there a stag around uh, but we stayed for a few minutes and we watched and they were okay with us because we were just two little girls and um, we thought we'd leave them to it and give them their space and, and we went off but it was just like a scene from Bambi it was amazing Visiting a small river and seeing water voles swimming around and occasionally a kingfisher would fly along the river with a fish for its young. I live near a river so I see kingfishers nearly every day. There was a really friendly one near me called Freddy and yeah he was our friend. Summer evenings at the fishing lake with the birds catching insects from the water's surface and the small fish, newts and frogs at the water's edge by my feet. I grew up next to a river, so most of my childhood memories are seeing the wildlife there. So I saw a kingfisher and we had an otter and we used to have more hens. It was really exciting as a child seeing all those different animals. As a child, I lived in Stanground. My garden backed onto a horse field with two ponds. When I came home from school, I loved to go and sit by the ponds. Pond dipping was the most fun. The field is now Stanground Newt Ponds Reserves. My first memory of wildlife was as a brownie when I did pond dipping and I found tadpoles and newts. And since then, I love the outdoors and nature. Pond dipping with my brother, catching insects and tadpoles. My first wildlife memory was pond dipping as a child where I first learned to identify vertebrates and amphibians. Spying on frogs to see how they behave. I think I was about six and there had been a really prolonged drought in South Africa and then suddenly the heavens opened and rain just came down, everywhere was flooded and once the rain stopped all these frogs emerged from underground and the roads, you couldn't even drive down the road because it was just littered in frog lifts. Um, so the first time I saw rain was also the first time I saw frogs. I lived in London and went to a nursery when I was about three. I learned to say Rose Bay Willow Herb at the nursery. I've loved flowers ever since. Gran was a wonderful teacher. She used to take me into the woods and tell me the names of the plants and the trees. But uh, I never could remember them then. I still can't remember them to this day. But it was interesting. My earliest wildlife memories are actually in this these very woods where I used to come about 50 years ago with my dad and we used to come through every season on a Sunday for a nice Sunday walk. Playing in the woods and exploring new things. So it's not a memory that I can remember but it's a memory that my family has always told to me is that I was probably a squirrel in a past life due to my love for trees. They were always trying to pull me off of trees when we had to leave a glen, like when we were picnicking, I'd hold on for dear life. If we were driving by woods, I would always be going, ooh, ah, so that's my story. I remember making a den in my back garden with my dad and brother. We used to love to climb trees in the local forest, country walks and picnics with the family. It's not the gifts and presents that are important, it's the time spent making memories.